Thank you for your interest and consideration of the Winston-Salem Police Department. We wish you the best of luck and success as you go through the process of becoming a police officer with our agency. One of the initial steps that all applicants must complete is a modified version of the police officer's physical abilities test, also known as POPAT. This video will provide you a demonstration of the modified POPAT that must be completed. The video will also show you instruction and proper form of each technique within the modified POPAT. If you have any questions about applying to the Winston-Salem Police Department or the modified POPAT, please contact our recruiting unit at area code 336-773-7925 or by email at recruit at wspd.org. Thank you again and good luck. The POPAT, or Police Officer Physical Ability Test, is designed to differentiate between those individuals who can and those who cannot perform the physical functions of a police officer's job at an adequate level of proficiency. The test consists of a series of tasks designed to assess important physical abilities necessary for effective job performance as a police officer. These tasks were developed to mirror real situations that officers might encounter on the job. This is a modified version of the POPAT that participants are required to complete as part of the application process. The test is designed to be a measure of the participant's job-related physical ability. Participants will be tested on numerous distinct physical ability test components identified to be essential job functions. The following are guidelines that will be used to successfully score the various tasks in the modified POPAT. The four-foot broad jump. The lines on the floor or ground must be completely clear during the jump. The method of jumping does not matter. The two-foot low crawl. The participant's body must go under the obstacle without knocking it over. The 100-pound roll drill. The participant will begin by assuming a mounted or straddle position on top of the roll bag. He or she will start on top of the roll bag with his or her left knee on the mat and roll to the right until the bag is over his or her body. The participant will continue to roll in the same direction until he or she is back on top of the roll bag. This is complete when the right knee touches the mat. The participant will perform a complete roll back to his or her left knee until the left knee touches the mat. This counts as one repetition. His or her knee must touch the mat as they roll to the right and left. Otherwise, it will not count and they will be directed to perform the roll again. Step box. A repetition will count as any portion of the bottom of each foot touching the top of the box followed by any portion of the bottom of each foot touching the floor or ground. Push-ups. The proper push-up will be measured using the following guidelines. Participant's hands are shoulder width apart, back is straight, head is facing forward with their feet together and both toes touching the ground or floor. He or she will lower their entire body to where they are able to touch their chin to the guide without moving their head, neck, and or arching their back or hips. The participant's body must not touch the ground. This will be defined as maintaining a plank position from shoulders to ankles throughout the motion. Participants must then come up to a fully extended position for the repetition to count. The Modified Police Officer Physical Ability Test, Scenario 1, Chase and Apprehension. Time will start when the participant is directed to begin. The participant will begin the modified POPAT from a seated position in a chair. He or she will then stand and begin running towards and around a cone located 40 feet in front of the chair. The participant will then run back, around the chair, and back towards and around the cone a total of two times. It does not matter which side of the cone or chair he or she runs around. The participant will then run and perform a four-foot broad jump. He or she must then scale the four-foot fence. The participant will then perform a low crawl under a two-foot obstacle. After the low crawl, he or she will then stand up and run around the cone located just after the crawl. The participant will then run back towards the mat to perform a roll drill. This drill will begin by assuming a mounted or straddle position on top of the 100-pound roll bag. The participant must perform two complete repetitions. The participant's knees must touch the mat as they roll to the right and left, otherwise it will not count and they will be directed to perform the roll again. He or she will then dismount the bag and perform 10 push-ups. The participant's chin must touch the push-up guide for them to count. The participant will then perform another two repetitions of the roll drill. The participant's knee must touch the mat as they roll to the right and left, otherwise it will not count and they will be directed to perform the roll again.
The participant will then run from the mat towards the obstacles and perform the four-foot broad jump, scale the four-foot fence, and perform the two-foot low crawl. After the low crawl, the participant will then stand up and run around the cone located just after the crawl. He or she will then run back towards the step box and complete 15 steps up and down. The participant will then perform another two repetitions of the roll drill. He or she will then dismount the roll bag and perform 10 push-ups. The participant will then perform another two repetitions of the roll drill. Upon completion of this task, time will stop. To successfully complete scenario one of the modified POPAT, participants must receive a final time of six minutes or less. A minimum 10-minute recovery period will be required between the end of Scenario 1 and the start of Scenario 2. Scenario 2 Rescue The participant will begin Scenario 2 of the modified POPAT from a standing position at the start line. Upon the signal to begin, the participant will begin running towards cone number 2 located 50 feet away and back to the start line two times. It does not matter which side of the cone the participant runs around. After the participant completes the initial cone run, he or she will move to the step box and complete 15 steps up and down. Upon the completion of 15 steps, the participant must begin running towards cone number two and back to the start line two times. Upon reaching cone two the second time, the participant will move to the rescue dummy, which will be in a supine position across the line with its head pointing in the direction of cone number three. He or she will drag the 150 pound dummy from the line to and around cone three, located 25 feet away, and back across the line. Upon completion of this task, time will stop. To successfully complete scenario two of the modified POPAT, participants must receive a final time of three minutes or less. Thank you for watching our demonstration of the modified POPAT. If you have any questions about the application process or the modified POPAT, please contact the recruiting unit at area code 336-773-7925 or by email at recruit at wspd.org. Thank you and good luck.